AYP Magazine here with the yeah. four letters. Well, that is Introduce yourself. Yeah, what's good, AYP Radio World? What's up? Your boy Kazi, aka Four Letters, Raleigh Durham, Chapel Hill, definitely in the building. 919. Yeah, 919. Shouts out to Richlands, all my people back down that way. You know what I'm saying? We here, man. Um, ready to get it cracking for 2010, man. I know. A lot of y'all been wondering where I've been at, what I've been doing, so it's good to be right here with my man, Mr. Never Dead, right here on the AYP Radio. Let y'all know what's going on with me. Now, you you just signed a deal with SRC Universal, Motown, Steve Rifkin. I mean, that's the man, if I'm not mistaken, who signed Wu Tang. How does that feel? Uh, you know what? That feels great. That's like a how can I put it? That's a super dope look, man. Like when I don't care who you are, how big you are, when you first start and. You know, there's certain things you aspire, or certain people you aspire to meet, or things you aspire to do. And like, I remember being like, just first right now, me and my boy in the crib, like, man, if we could be signed someday, like, like it's a dream. You know, mm -hmm. we could be signed someday. We'd want to be signed either Def Jam, Raucous, or Loud, because at that time that we came up, those were the labels that were really putting out that hot shit that we that we loved. You know what I mean? And so like, to finally like be in like you know that situation. You know, you know, you know how it came about. Some people try to like, you know, oh, well, you did it through a contest, ba da ba da 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 da. But nah, fam, like I've been on this grind. You know what I mean? If it took that contest for me to get my foot in the door and get in front of Steve Rifkin, so be it. You know what I mean? But it's a beautiful thing, and I just felt like all the hard work I put in wasn't in vain once I got in front of that man, and the situation happened the way it did. Now you mentioned Raucous Records. You actually had a deal with Raucous Records. Yeah, I had. Um, I was a part of what they had called the Raucous Fifty. Um, I was signing them um, in 07. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It was like a two year situation that I was in. I released the album called Block to the Basement on iTunes right now. Go check it out. You know what I'm saying? But um, yeah, you know, and I thought that really, you know, that was a, going into that situation, it was like, you know, that legacy, Most Def, Quali, Feral Manch, Company Flow, right. you know, all, you know, high tech, all of that. I was hoping that, you know, Okay, this is the return of that movement. We about to get it. They were about to get it cranked up, right. and that it was going to go back to that. But you know, so it, it was a kind of a false start. I put forth a product I felt like could have made a real impact there, but um, marketing and promotion on their end, I think they kind of just was relying on a digital, whatever. You know, everybody's saying nobody buys CDs anymore, and that's bullshit. You put out good music, people gonna buy it. They're not gonna, they're not gonna buy no whack shit no more. That's the beauty of it. You know what I'm saying? But like, I just felt like I don't know. It was a false start, and now I don't really see Raucous like that anymore. But to have come up and said in my life, I wanted to be on Raucous, Def Jam, or Loud, and I didn't scratch two of the three off the list. <laughs> Coming out of Carolina, that's a uh, that's a blessing in itself. But I think that uh, there's still a bigger situation to come. I don't know where it is or what it is, but there's, I think there's still another situation left to attain. So we will see what happens. We, we, we're working on it. Well, well yeah. you, you didn't have Motown on your original <laughs> list, but now you're down with Motown. And, and how does that yeah. feel? There's a huge legacy right there. Yeah, you know what? Um, like we were talking about earlier off camera, um, it's, it's, a, it's a legacy, man. It's a legacy. It's a uh, blueprint of music, man. Just like that whole sound in general, like, that music is timeless, number one. It introduced, like, a level of sound that is still being duplicated and imitated. You know, Michael Jackson was birthed out of that. You know what I'm saying? Shouts out to Action Incorporated in the building. You know what I'm saying? DJ Battle. It's good. What's Fuzz good? What's good? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, what's going on, right fuzz? Yeah, what's up, man? How you? All right. Yeah, I, I, we, in, we in Port City right now. You know what I mean? So, uh, at the beach, yeah, on the beach right now. Near the beach, <laughs> boys. You can hear the waves. Right there. <laughs> DJ Battle's birthday badge, matter yeah, of fact. Yeah. About to get in. There. It's about to be crazy. Dope. But so, as we were saying, the Motown deal. Okay. Yeah. So, like, just representing that legacy, trying to be a part of that situation is big. You know what I mean? So, I feel a responsibility. To put out quality, I know some cats is in it for the hustle, raps a hustle, blah blah blah, whatever. Now I feel a responsibility to put out good music, man. And so, you know, Motown, fam. You know what? What else we need to be said? We need to be said. But at the same time, um, I got a hard dose of reality about what it is to be signed this year. You know what I'm saying? I think, uh, you know, maybe back in the day, or what a lot of cats perceive that when you get a deal, it's like, yo, now everything's taken care of for you. 
that you know everything's set up for you. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. We'll put you on tour. We'll put you in the studio. So and so. It's not like that, man. Actually, your grind really intensifies, man. And then they really want to see what you made of. Everything is kind of they want to see what you can do on your own or within your own camp. What you and your manager and your publicist and your team can put together. You know what I'm saying? So your grind really becomes about you, you know what I mean? Like, I'm sitting on the bench until I warm myself up to right. the point where, you know, I earn to get the right to be released, you know what I'm saying? Or for them to put my project out. I have a single deal with them right now, as most artists do, and the if there will be an album will depend on the success, or you know, of whatever I put out as a single, you know? So, it's not at all, I'm not popping bottles by the pool right now, sipping Chris style or Rose, nothing like that, bro. It's like the grind is really like harder than ever, but this 10, 11 years that I've been in has just got me prepared for this whole challenge, though, man. Um, you just recently released the mixtape with DJ Woo Kid. Now, how did that, that was pretty big. That was, that was a huge mixtape. Yeah. And uh, so wh where do you go from here? First of all, how did it feel with that mixtape? Yo, and, that, and what do you go for coming next? That felt like... Uh, yeah, I don't know if y'all know the Ludacris album, Back for the First Time. I felt back for the first time, man, like, because, you know, a lot of cats my, um, that know me from the internet, the underground community, the work, you know, projects I put out with Ninth Wonder, the mixtapes I've done, um, they've been holding me down since day one, you know what I'm saying? But there was a whole nother level above that that had never heard of me and seen nothing. So to put that out and to have that, that cosign attached to it, like made me like legit it was a legitimate step into like okay i'm here now you know what i'm saying and i, I, and I just wanted that to do well i wanted people to have that for free we let that out for free you know it was on this is 50.com it was on loud vlad two dope boys uh the internet community that i had known for all these years held me down on that even though some people might say oh okay this is a g unit or a who kid thing well you know we ain't really fucking with it but nah cats universally was like, that's Kazi, we're gonna check it out. And that was a good look, man, you know what I'm saying? And shouts out to DJ Who Kid for even fucking with me on that, you know what I mean? That was a really good look. It, it opened a lot of doors for me and it's made people take me seriously now, you know? That was like the, the, the staple that said, okay, he's making a transition to try and be like a, a, a big artist now. The game you imitating, I was born in my veins with. Carolina authentic player, not on no lame shit. Rap is a circus, I'm the cat that's making the flame spit. Rhyming to freak your mind better than David Blaine tricks. Kai's angel, my angle is greater than your less than. Equal to no sweet and no niggas, so don't test fam, cause hip hop's what I live and rap is what I do. True b-boy, been breaking and spitting since 9-2. I talk my bionics in the country, slang phonics. Flow is bionic, twisted off gin and chronic with tonic. So if you supersonic, hope you you hearing it clear, I'm the reason why you won't be around next year. The cheetah chasing a Velvet to get in the dough. Plan to whoop that trick when I hustle and flow. So don't play play cousin, cause fucking with dude. Four letters leave your whole click chopped and screwed. Yeah. Woo. Four letters, man. Your boy Kazi, non-stop hip-hop, man. North Carolina. Stand the fuck up, man. AYP Radio, man. Peace. That was, that was